motherfucker fucking with the real MVT. Alright, come on, do it again. Nah, do it again. I, ain't, I, ain't <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I don't know how to do that shit. Streets. Gang man. I like that one, but you didn't tell him what shit was shit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shit's crazy. Hey, man. 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 Damn, we gonna have like 20 videos of me just saying this shit up. <laughs> you know, we in Wilmington on the east side, you know, where it get active. Pistol packing, never lacking, all that, you know. Right here, shit, signed to the streets, real MVP TV, stay tuned. Got us in a Ricky Alley. Let me see, let me see. So it's y'all, so it's y'all. What up, what up, what up? My boy. So it's y'all, the Mazi. Mazi, the Mazi. So, you ready? I did a big, I did, I did a big ass hit up right here, a big ass colored in one. They blocked that shit off. Didn't y'all say y'all just got raided too over here? Yeah, they just they did it. In, yeah, they just did it in diamond. Yeah, they just did it in diamond like, like a week ago or two. Damn. How many people got grabbed up? Uh, like what they say? No, that's like twenty people. Damn. They got like twenty fools. They got like eighty straps and shit. 80 straps is crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That, that shit, you know? I don't, I don't know nothing about that shit though. <laughs> <laughs> Type shit. So what section we in right now? Yeah, we, we, we in Wilmington. We in Weemoss. We on the east side. You know? Chilling right here. See on the block. We on the block. We on L Street. Like, I was already like raised around it. Like, they was always in my house. Everybody's in my house. So once they started seeing it, oh, he, he on his own kicking it with the homies already. Like, it was just more like, you know, he was already doing his thing. 12 years old, I booked. I took off, I started living by myself, 12 years old, started living with the homie. Started doing my own thing, and I saw I caught my own case. When I caught a case, I went to the halls, I went to a placement, and I AWOL. From there, just started running the streets. Mm. I, I didn't really live at my house like that. I was always on my own and shit. Probably like 15, maybe. Like 15, that's when I just started kicking in with the homies. But it's always been in my like family too. Like my, all my family's from what the hood said. and shit too. This be, we used to be neighbors like, yeah. from like three, like three <clears throat> to like seven years old, we was neighbors. Then we played marbles in that dirt and shit. Yeah. On the hood. Before we start game making this set. What would you say was the turning point for y'all? You was like, I'm really from out here. Like, See, this is like what ten, I 10 years old, that's when I was already doing my whole thing, 10 years old. Yeah. My parents are divorced and shit, so I, I wanted to be with my dad, but my dad was in jail, so I was already running the streets. I used to live right here. 11 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old, that's when I started already like doing the full fledged everything, trying to just be outside and shit, off the porch. I got shot like at 14 years old, and then after that, I was just trying to get my give back, so mm. it's turned different, you know? They was trying to tag and shit, broad daylight. Boom, we chased like three niggas. I try to bounce out, do my little issue or whatever. And some niggas, they start shooting back type shit. They start shooting back at us, they got hit. I didn't even know though. I was in the court, dug down. I was getting smacked off. <laughs> dug down low. I'm like, you good, you good? Like, yeah, I'm good. Like, no, you not, nigga. He like, he like, uh, don't, don't be paranoid. Like, don't, don't, don't start freaking out and shit. I went to the block, nigga, they start, they start, uh, they start trying to push that shit out of me. Mm. And, they, and they start putting, they start throwing fucking peroxide on me, everything. I'm like, start burning. Ah! They put a, uh, put a belt on me, tight as fuck with the sweater. Took me straight to the hospital. That's what it said. Sound like y'all had your own little medical stab to your ear. Nigga, hell no. Nigga, I wish they would have took me straight to the hospital. <laughs> nigga, they'll try to fuck me up. <laughs> Shoot, they'll kill you, make you stronger. Yeah, but that's the, that's the thing. Like, we were kids, you know, we don't know shit. We just try to take care of each other type shit. Oh, these was young homies, not yeah. no older. Hell no. Oh, we yeah, nah, we nah. Street, yeah, you feel me? The older homies would be like, nigga, get this nigga go. <laughs> get, him, get him off the block for sure. <laughs> On the other side, you good. You good? That's old girl, huh? Tripping. Yeah, yeah I, I got you. And we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take we gonna come back on this. Boy, yo, he all over the roof. <laughs> Open it. Nah. Nah. Open it. Uh, hell no, nah, I'm not opening his car. I think the other homies here. He's gonna steal stuff right now. We have to jam with it. What the fuck? Cause I hit everything. Oh, east side. That nigga crazy. Real falling up, huh? Yeah.
I used to play right here. I used to play right here as a little kid for the team. Why you didn't stick with it? See, I don't know. <laughs> I just started see, hanging out with the wrong crowd. <laughs> you know, as everybody would say, you don't hang out with the wrong crowd, start doing my own shit. Start doing my own little thing. I used to play baseball too. John Mendes. I was doing that shit too. Seventh grade, like, seventh grade was like my last year going to real school. Started doing bullshit, everything. Started game banging with the folks. We just shit. We still be outside, you know, but we moved better, you know, we try to choose. Nah, we're not always trying to be on bullshit, you know? Yeah. Out here, like I said, there's too much money outside and shit. We're out here chilling, you know, trying to get a bag and shit. Shit, right here in Ghost Town, like, we beef with the blood, so we don't really, like, get along with, with the blacks over here and shit like that. But, to be honest, they so it's like nothing, like... What I noticed about LA, it's always, from the outside looking, it always just seemed like blacks versus Mexican, but I really just think it stemmed from just gang shit in yeah, general for gang. the most part. It's just, yeah, it's just, a, it's just, it's just the gang politics. If I'm in music with a couple of black people. I work with people like that, it ain't nothing. But just once you get to the gang politics, it's different. Some hoods is like, don't get along with no blacks at all. Some hoods fuck with some blacks. I don't know, I can only speak for mine, you know? Mm -hmm. We gonna fuck with the bloods and, and we gonna leave it like that. Like. But the thing is, just from my hood too, like we, we red rags Sureños, so we're from the south side, but we were red rags. So it's different, everybody be like, you know, they be tripping like, oh, like, they be thinking we were in Nortenos and shit. Like, oh, you son, you, you a homie? You a buster? Like, what's the deal? Like, nah, I'm, well, I'm from the Sioux too. Like, but it's, but we different, you know? We were a red rag, so it's, people would look at us different right away and shit. Not everybody, not everybody made for this shit, you know? They want to be this, they want to be this lifestyle, but it's, everybody's not made for this shit. Cause I seen shit, I just see killer homies fold and shit. That shit, nothing. All my main circle is like, nigga. They, they, you know, already fighting life, shit. They doing, they, they already got football numbers at that. It's like, what, nigga? Just really show you, like, you gotta move smart with this shit. Like, I was just telling the other homie the other day on the phone, on the set, like, I was just, he was from the clear, like, I told him, like, look, nigga, like, what good are you in jail? Like, nigga, you wanna be the man out here showing everybody, I'm from the hood, nigga, I'm from the gun some shit down, but nigga, that shit ain't no good. You going to jail for a sucker ass nigga at the end of the day. Like, nigga, we out here getting money, nigga. Like, fuck the bullshit. Gay, I don't know, it's too many niggas to this to the streets and to the system like on my circle in jail already so it's like they 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 be telling me on the phone like nigga you doing it like we hearing about you nigga like keep pussy nigga like nigga, fuck this jail bullshit like nigga and homies gonna hate regardless or homies gonna fuck with you it don't even matter you gonna be you at the end of the day a lot of niggas just fell in line but these really my day ones like since i started before i started going to jail and all that because yeah. i started once i started going to jail that shit was different like nigga, no none of the homies was kicking it like well i mean the homies was kicking it but shit, i be the main nigga trying to get Everybody like together. Ten niggas to kick it, you know. <laughs> I try to be outside with ten deep. They can pull up on niggas like. Yeah. I be taking these niggas everywhere too. Like, I be trying to go out, you know, go to LA, go out places like, or be on some chilling shit. We trying to be on some chilling shit, but we going out with everybody like, pop out, pop out, but. I feel like that's kind of hard to do in LA. Yeah, it There's is. just so many gangs and so yeah, many drugs, different shit. Exactly. That's how you. It's it's hard to do it, but it's that you gotta move like can't can't go over here because niggas be tripping. We trying to be on some chilling shit. That's why like we kick it over here in the hood. You gotta watch out for the cops and everybody else. Yeah, I feel like it, it's like a trap y'all kind of yeah. stuck in because if you stay in the hood, that's where all the danger and the bullshit is. But if you go outside the hood, that's where you can also run into other bullshit too. The ghetto everywhere. Just put it like that. Yeah, we just really like trying to push off this music shit though. Why am shit? Mainly me. I be, I be fucking with Swifty and shit like that. I be so it's different. Like he, he, he really helped me out a lot. Big open doors and shit. But niggas just trying to push off the music and shit. Take it as far as I can with this shit. I've been booming lately. I be booming. Just dropped the video last night. What's it like having somebody like? <clears throat> Like somebody like him that kind of got a name, kind of co-sign and kind of help you. I'm like, yeah, I see you doing your thing type shit. That shit, that shit cool. But at the same time, like, I mean, if you know, you know, like my nigga Swifty, like niggas be trying to hate on that nigga every day. So there's a new hating thing about him every day. So it's really like, if it's really like, all right, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. So I'm, you nigga, you got smile on your name. I'm running with you even if you do type shit. So it's different, like, you know, but I'm not going to go around saying like, oh, yeah, I do this music shit, but I fuck with City. Nah, nigga, I'm trying to build my own name. I'm, I'm my own person at the end of the day. Like, he helped me out a lot, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm grinding records and shit, but at the same time, like, nigga, I'm trying to get my own name out here. I be doing my own my own numbers and shit, you know. At the end of the day, that shit, shit. Ain't nobody got you but yourself, but LA, there's so much hate in LA. You're not going, if you from LA, it's like sad to say, but it's like, you from LA and you in the music shit, you're not going to make it out like that. Like, nigga, there's so much hate in LA. Once you start booming, niggas, niggas will fuck with you, but now niggas are, certain niggas are funny. 
trying to do their best homework to find something to smut on you about. Like, shit, fool, easy, man. So what do you think is needed in like your community so people that, that's come up under you don't have to go through the same trials and tribulations y'all did? To be honest, like me to explain that shit, that shit kind of hard cause like, I mean, I can't tell, I can't say too much to do good cause I be living in the best life still. So I be doing my, I be doing dirt. So, but I mean, the most I can say is like, shit, like, you don't really want to take this route, like, I understand, like, you raising this shit is different, you know, but really taking the route, you know, nah, that shit, niggas, niggas be wanting to join this shit, like, that shit's a game. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> the kids that grow up out here, they kind of feel like you gotta be in the game, like, they like, it's cool, it's fun. Uh, you know, nah, that's what I'm saying, like, I give it up to the niggas that, I give, I give it up to the niggas that are, were raised around this shit, and... Chose, still chose something else and, and went big with it, shit. Cause that shit right there show you like, what, nigga, you was raised around, you was raised around killers and, and gangsters, but and you still chose to make it out this shit. Cause like I said, we trying to make it out this lifestyle. We not just trying to do this, but at the end of the day, it's like this is an everyday thing. So I gotta wash my back now. Cause I'm just done dirt for one night for me safe, but now I gotta wash my back cause of every day cause of that. Like what? And once some blood is shit, it's no yeah, going back. Exactly. Say the other side and y'all come together. I'm like, we lost who we lost. Y'all lost who y'all lost. So let's end it right here. Would y'all think y'all gang or you specifically would be open and be like, let's squash it and move past it? Nah, to be honest, like me personally, like even if I, they'd be like, you know, I'll put your pride to the side. Hell nah, nigga. Like, it's too, it, it's it's already gone too far to to slow it down. You know, like it's too. The disrespect is already gone. That shit's. Nigga, it's on sight, nigga. Like, that's how I really be with niggas. But then that's why I told you, like, I don't even take these op niggas serious no more. Cause I run into these niggas and they want to pull out phones and start recording and doing all It's like, y'all not to, y'all not really, y'all not really game banging. Y'all just living that shit for the Instagram. Like, come on, like, that shit. But I mean, the niggas was, niggas was just at the car show the other day. And niggas from the other side was like a couple of little car clubs down and shit, kicking it with whoever they peoples. We kept it like, we kept it respectful. You know, that's where you keep it respectful. Like, oh, like, all oh, these niggas is here, you know? Niggas that we get it at, niggas that we trying to get at in the street. But kept the respectful is like, we we find you on the street. We see you in the street. You say you're outside, we're going to see you. We're not, we're not going, you know? We're going to let that shit be. We're going to let it. So basically, I like yeah, community events type yeah, shit, y'all. There's a time and place for everything, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's because, like, the lowriders, like, the lowriders in the city, like, they get together a lot and they yeah. do cruise night right here on Avalon. Yeah. That's why I remember the other night, I was like, oh, pull up. Like, mm -hmm. they about to have that shit cracking. Like, but I mean, like, the, the other side come over here, like, you know? San Pedro be coming sometimes. Like, so there'll be, like, a couple little, like, you know, niggas like that. We'll be like, we try to get at, but there's a time and place for everything. Like, let that shit be, everybody with the folks type shit. Because at the end of the day, I mean, there's family from both sides, you know? Mm. I know niggas, I know niggas that's <clears> like, that's like, they from the hood, but. Shit, they cousin from the other side. You good? You good? That's oh girl, huh? Cause I know me, I I can't. <laughs> I'm done. I'm gonna say this is me forever. This is what I chose. So even even if I'm on some like shit, like a couple days ago, shit, I was just on some regular shit, putting my gas and shit. And the ops try to see me. They try to oh, they put their phones out right away, recording me and shit. Like real nigga would have shot my ass or some shit. You know, that shit then, but that's why I gotta be on my toes. Like, I'm on some regular shit, vice versa. I would've been trying to pop that nigga shit. It you were in like the that. city? Or they caught you Yeah, it was right here. I was down the street and shit. Down the street, they try to, you know what I'm saying? They chasing me or whatever. Nigga pulled a phone out instead of a blick. So, that just show who you is, you know? 